So we have an iPhone 7 here that when you plug it into when you plug it into the DC power supply, it uh, is drawing somewhere between 0.8 amps and 0.5 amps um, with nothing attached to it. So basically, you just plug it in, and all of a sudden, it's just drawing amps already. Um, usually, if it's a VDD main, VCC main, or VDD main short, it draws full amperage, which on my DC power supply, it's set up to 2 amps. But this one's only drawing 0.8. So uh, I tested. Uh, hold on a second, you can't even see my board here, but, um, why is it all jacked up? There it goes. So, you know, I checked VDD main, and that was point, in diode mode, that was right around point four or so. So that tells me that's fine. And then, what else did I check? I checked, um, the other common shorted power lines, um, which is the VDD... Hold on a second. So I went over here. I so I took out the the black tape covering the um, logic board, and then I checked. What is it? PP speaker two V boost. Um, that was like 0.46 volts in diode mode. And then the other common line is um, VDD boost. PP VDD boost, which is here. PP VDD boost. Okay, and that one was shorted. Um, so, the question now is how do we find where the short is on this phone, VDD boost. So, and the board looks very, very clean. Um, let me just check something real quick just to make sure, okay. So, there's only really one component on the top side of the board, and I just looked at it, and it looks fine, so we can kind of look at it too, and... You can kind of peel this up a little bit, and this looks fine. I mean, it's possible that that's the problem, but m most likely not the problem. So it looks like most of the the caps are centered around the back side of the board near the PMIC, and I think it looks like there's a few things near the backlight system here. So I guess we'll just take a gander real quick. Um, so I'll show you guys. This is Intel. This is the one that I'm working on is an Intel baseband board. Uh, so that's GSM, and then uh, ZXW only has the QCOM schematics that uh, is a little more detailed. So okay, so we're gonna look over here, and this looks fine as well. Like this doesn't really look messed up. I mean, it's possible it is messed up, but I I like to use visual first, so. So then we go to the middle of the board here. Um, actually, let's go to the top side first because there's more components here. So let's just go to the top side here. And let's take a look at this right here. Let's see if this is jacked up. Uh, that looks fine too. Um, you can see it on the big screen right here. That looks fine. Nothing nothing wrong there, it looks like. So I think probably the problem, and then I think the Wi Fi chip might have something. No, nope, it doesn't. Okay, so looks like the problem is most likely going to be here somewhere, okay? Um, so I don't even know what voltage this takes. Um, so I guess what we can do, and you know, we almost always isolate the big the big uh, caps first before we do anything. So looking at this this schematics, I don't even. So it seems like probably. So okay, so I do see one cap that looks a little bit off. So looks like these are all VDD boost. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and then I think maybe a few down here, but those look like smaller ones, and then maybe those two or something like that, but this one looks a little bit off, but you know what we're going to do? We're just going to inject some voltage in it, similar to how we uh, search for VDD um, main, which is just inject about four, two amps, four volts into it, and then we're going to use a little free spray, and hopefully we can find find and tech where the issue is since this is so isolated that it's going to be a little bit maybe a little bit easier well I shouldn't say easier because that's like the kiss of death the kiss of death man um, so let's back up a little bit and then we're just going to free spray this mother and I'm going to inject some voltage in it so so I'm just going to inject it here and then let's see what happens oh there it goes see that Instantly, that 
turned hot. So, and that was the one that I that looked bad initially to me. So, let's see it again. We'll do it in slow motion. How about that? So, I'm gonna um. So I'm gonna inject voltage, four volts, uh, maximum of two amps, into this VDD boost line. And then we're gonna see if we can find it. There it is. See that? See how that just boom just heated up so quickly. So that's most likely the issue. And we're gonna take that cap off, retest that line, and hopefully it'll be golden grams after that. Hopefully. Um, so what I do to take these off is I just really just use some pretty strong tweezers here, since it's uh, filled in epoxy. And I put my I put my hot tweezers on it on the ends, and then I just really just use brute force. You know the idea is really not to rip the pads. You know you can rip the pad, you can rip the components since the components shorted anyways, but just don't try to rip the pads. I think that's probably the the easiest way to do it. If you use hot air, then sometimes you might overheat the PMIC or something like that. You know, and and uh, bad news bears. You know, so adding a little heat to it. Well, see it. See how the pad. So if you look at the ends of this cap right here you know took the pads off of that which is fine because we're just going to use our um, we're just going to use our uh, soldering iron to uh, to remove it anyways but you know what let's just go ahead and test it right now so I'm in diode mode right now and I'm going to test this line again and it's 0 0.41 now so the so the short is gone if you want to confirm then you can also test this cap right here and, and just make sure it beeps and it is indeed shorted so so we are golden grams here. Uh, get rid of this cap right here. Uh, well, it's already gone somewhere. There it is. Chuck this in the trash. Uh, let's clean this mother up. Which means I'm going to put a little flux on it. I have been using this VS213 flux exclusively for the past week or two, and it's been great. I, I love it. Uh, my tech CNG doesn't really like it too much, but. Uh, <laughs> He's basically, yeah, had some had some tough times. Uh, and he blames the flux, but I don't think it's the flux. <laughs> Maybe it is flux. Who knows? Whatever. That's the problem when you change things, man. Introduce new variables. Okay, so I'm trying to get rid of this damn cat, but it's not leaving me for some reason. So that is good, and let's just find out what kind of cap it is, put it back, and then I think everything should work after that. It's a 15 microfarad 6.3 volter, which we should have plenty of, hopefully. 16 micro, 15 microfarad 6.3 volter, 0402. Okay. So, uh, okay. So common shorts are. VDD boost, VDD main. Uh, I'm sure there are more, um, and I'm sure we've had some of these before. Where you have battery, you have battery drain, where you know you have some sort of drain on uh, the the battery with nothing connected, and and you don't know what it is, and and so you know I think maybe testing the power lines, um, testing the majority of the main power lines I think that'll probably really help in uh, solving the issue so so We are in business here. I don't think this is a very solid joint, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get this. Um, I think what I'm going to do is take this off, and then I think I'm going to probably put a, put some sixty, like a good amount of sixty-three thirty-seven on those pads right there. There you go. There you go. That's plenty. And then I'll just kind of heat it again and. I just won't really push down on it or anything because I push down a little bit. I don't want to skirt out on me. Okay. So.
Okay, that's pretty solid, so that's good to go. Uh, we're going to test BDD main one more time. And then we'll call it a day, my friend, hopefully. So, boom, boom. 0 0.40, okay. So that's Golden Grams. Let's plug it in and test it. And hopefully everything is golden here. We shall see. So I'm gonna get my DC power supply cable, and it looks kind of like this. You can't really see it. you can't see my DC power supply, but I'm gonna plug this in first and just make sure it's not drawing any current that it's not supposed to when it's turned off. So it's at zero now. So now I'm gonna plug this in, and let's see if there's any battery life in it, and plug my cable in it. See how many amps it's drawing. Okay. So it's drawing 0.34. And then I have the battery. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a battery, uh, dead battery. You can't, you can barely see it, but trust me, it's there. I can see it clearly. It's not a backlight problem. It's just a little bit dim. Um, but I guess what we can do is maybe just take the battery off, use our DC power supply to see if we can power it on, and then, and then we can, you guys can see where this is. Um, so, okay, I got my DC power supply plugged in, and then I pushed, I pushed the home button, and boom, there you go, you got the Apple logo. So, I'm going to say that we are pretty much golden grams on this. Um, yeah, we're pretty much golden grams on this. So, so I don't know, I, I there's no real, oh, well, let's see, it's weird. The display is a little bit grainy. It's kind of weird. Although the screen is cracked, so I think maybe the screen is bad. It looks like a bad screen. That's my guess. And then, but touch looks like it works. Yep, it does. So touch works. Screen is bad. I think this is going to be good. Um, it says touch ID is unable to activate, so that's not good. Um, but that's another issue. This was a no power problem. So, anyways, I'm going to call it a day on this one. Uh, I mean, no different than BDD main short. This is a BDD boost short, uh, but same procedure in order to detect it. And uh, one of the differences is that the DC power supply draws about 0.8 amps versus 2 amps when it's a BDD main short. Okay? So, that you know, if you plug in your DC power supply and the logic board, nothing's connected, and you get 0.8 then I'd probably search for BDD boost first, all right? And if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, um, let's see. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, I, uh, number one would be probably buy the course, online course, 100 bucks right now. Just go to microsoldering.com, click on shop, click on uh, microsoldering full, full curriculum. It's three and a half hours of video instruction hosted at udemy.com, all right? So that's number one. Number two is... Um, get some money out to invest in some some good tools um, one would be this green software right here which is ZXW tools we sell that on our website um, in our store so and then basically all the equipment that you need to fix this thing for me let's see minimum would probably be hot air well no I didn't even use hot air to fix this one so I guess you can probably just use a big soldering iron for this one um, like a can of free spray here and this is the free spray that I use. So this is the stuff that I use. It's Peritronics, Peritronics um, Circuit Freeze. It's I think it's like eight or nine bucks a can of ten ounce can. I get it from Google Express, which you can get two cans for about I don't know maybe sixteen bucks shipped or something like that. Um, and then DC power supply you can get for about fifty bucks. And then the power supply cables, which we sell in our store, you can get for about 20, 20, 30, about 20 bucks, probably, yeah, 20 bucks. Um, uh, any other questions, just go to our forum. I, I don't respond to the questions on YouTube anymore, um, but I will respond to every question in our forum. So go to microsolder.com, click on forums up top, and you can post a question there, and I'll answer them for you, alright? Any question you want, I will answer, to the best of my knowledge, at least. I don't know everything. Um, so I think that's it. Uh, I'm going to show the promo video now. So thanks for watching. Bye.
thanks for watching our video I just wanted to point out a few things um, number one we have an online forum now if you go to microsoldering.com click on forum up top you'll see that um, you can post your questions here um, we get a ton of questions on YouTube and they're scattered so my goal is to create this forum so that uh, people can post their questions and I will personally answer every single question that there is that is posted on this forum so go there number two is we have a online micro soldering class um, we've had hundreds and hundreds maybe a thousand customers now or something like that but it's three and a half hours long um, goes through just about everything We're, we are working on adding subtitles to it and we are looking at adding some more information so it's 99 bucks now uh, we were selling at 200 I think or something like that and we we're selling separate courses but every, everything is combined in one course now it's 100 bucks uh, go through our link to buy it otherwise it's 150 bucks so if you have any questions let us know we will answer answer them all uh, through the forum alright don't call thanks